Hello, I'm Barbara Eastwick and today we're looking at creating a digital scrapbooking layout starting from a quick page. A quick page is a pre-made layout with a hole in it. So we're using Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop Elements version 4 and we bring up our software and we'll be looking at edit and now we'll be opening our quick page. Find your quick page on your hard drive. I'm using one by Feng Li. And find your quick page and click open. And once it appears, there it is. We'll want to go ahead and get our photo. So again, find your photo on your hard drive. Click it once and then open. Now make sure that you have your windows set to cascade so that you see both at the same time. You'll also need to have the pointer on. There it is. And then you can just drag your photo over to your quick page. And now you can move your photo over top the hole. And if you pull co on the corner and stretch it upward, it will stretch uniformly if you're also holding the shift key at the same time. There, now we'll need that photo to go behind the quick page. So we'll click on the click page, click layer, arrange, bring to front, and the quick page has now popped up front. You can still move the photo and how I arrange it how you wish to sit behind. Now we're ready for some journaling. So go ahead and click on the T from the toolbar, there it is, and we'll just create the box where we would like it. Just click and drag, and that's our text box. And then just begin typing. It will type in the font and color and size that you have set at the top of the menu there, but it is all very easily edited. So just go ahead and finish your typing and then highlight it and then choose your font and your font size there and now font color I'm just going to click on that color box and choose my color and choose OK but as you see when I let go here ah, it's a little too light we need that bold so I'll highlight it and I'll click this dark T and that will automatically make it bold. There you go. That'll work. Now we'll go ahead and right click on our layout and we need to merge it down to create one layer. And we'll click on the text and right click and merge down and now we have one layout ready to save for web. So click file, save for web and it's telling us that our image is too large and we know that. We're going to go ahead and reduce it in size. I'm saving it at 650. 600 is a good size as well. Change the quality and click OK and then find the folder you wish to save it in and name your layout and click Save. If I wished to have saved it for printing, I would have saved it as a high quality JPEG and then sent it off to my printers to be printed. That's all there is to it. Thank you very much.